Well, Pete Buttigieg doesn't need me to defend him, and Pete Buttigieg doesn't need you to defend him. He's got the best defender of all in his partner and husband, Chastin Buttigieg, who went after Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. She's the Congresswoman for Colorado's 3rd District. Boebert posted the following to her Twitter on Father's Day. The role of the father is absolutely fundamental to the family and to society as a whole. On this Father's Day, I want to send out a shout out of gratitude to all the dads across America. This was, of course, after Lauren Boebert had posted the following to YouTube regarding Pete Buttigieg as a father. Well, the country fell into one of the worst supply chain crises since 1979 when this was still in style. The guy in charge of it all, Mayor Pete, was on a two-month maternity, paternity, whatever the heck you want to call it, leave. The guy was gone, okay? The guy was not working. Because why? He was trying to figure out how to chest feed. In response to that little barb, on par with the best of twain, master of the high road, Chastin Buttigieg replied, our two month old son was on a ventilator at the children's hospital when you attacked my husband for being with his family. I watched Pete take calls and zooms from our hospital room all day, managing crisis after crisis while our son's heart monitor beeped in the background. In related news, Boebert is now seeking $33.1 million in funding for the South Bridge in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. The money coming from the infrastructure bill that Boebert voted against in March in her letter to Secretary of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg, Lauren Boebert said the following, Glenwood Springs South Bridge project will reduce traffic congestion, improve safety along State Highway 82, and will protect hundreds of lives in the event of a fast moving fire. Gee, how do you think that request is gonna work out for you, Colorado? Of course, the bigger question is why Colorado's third district would re-elect a representative who spits in the faces of people who are in charge of allocating the federal funds to projects that will improve lives in their own communities. Remember, Boebert called President Joe Biden's Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act wasteful and garbage and now wants $33 million from it. Also, the Denver Post reported earlier this month that Colorado officials have opened an investigation into Boebert's 2020 campaign reimbursements to determine whether more than $22,000 she paid to herself with campaign funds to cover mileage was justified. The article adds that while candidates can legally reimburse themselves for the miles they drive, that amount of money would have meant that Lauren Boebert drove nearly 39,000 miles while campaigning.